Hey everyone, James from TDB here, bringing you another in between us. So today I am going to be doing a T comparison of another uh, Shaguan from 2011. It is uh, the 2011 Shaguan Feitai 8653. Going to be comparing the iron version versus the non-iron version right here. So I have uh, cakes of both. They are both still, uh, they've gone up in price recently, but they're both still uh, under $20. So very inexpensive tea still. Um, so here's the Fei Tai 2011 uh, iron cake. I bought this about a year ago. Uh, and here is the non-iron. Uh, and you can see very, very similar wrappers for both of these. Uh, uh, yeah, so usually just the extra T means it's iron for the uh, iron cake and that uh, the non-T, just the FT means it's just the normal uh, regular Bing. Uh, so yeah, uh, Phobos actually recommended that I try the Fade Thai version, decided it'd be kind of a good uh, episode to do just to compare those, see how similar or different they are, see if one is a little more aged and if the material is pretty similar quality. Um, when I did buy these teas, the cost was very, very close to each other. It's since uh, differentiated a little bit more, um, but when I bought them, I believe it was something like 85 RMB for the Feitai non-iron and something like 93 RMB for the iron cake. So a little bit over a dollar more for that. So that I believe at the time, uh, the exchange rate was something like $11 for the for the iron and $12 for the uh, non-iron. Um, since then, uh, the price has gone up and the exchange rate has also changed. So uh, right now I just looked it up on MXT, which is where I got both of these. The Feitai non-iron goes for uh, 89 RMB, so about $14. And the iron cake goes for 118 RMB, so about $18. So definitely a little bit more of a price difference, but we're still talking about the more expensive one being $18. So it's not exactly going to be uh, breaking your bank. Um, it's a tea that, you know, I think I have recommended as a pretty good value and a decent Shaguan reference cake in some ways. Um, so one other thing that you probably saw uh, or saw me note here is that these are FT, so Fei Tai Productions. If you are someone diving into Shaguan, you'll probably have noticed that quite a bit. Um, and Fei Tai, uh, they do, uh, they're kind of their own thing. They commission their own cakes. And I would say that they are not the best example of Shaguan, but they're not too far from the norm. I think on average, uh, the people say that they cater a little bit more towards the Taiwanese taste. So I think on average, uh, the tea quality is going to be a little bit better. So if you're throwing darts uh, at random Feitai productions versus average Shaguans, I think you'd probably be more likely to get hits for the Feitai ones, uh, just on average. Uh, but at, uh, on the negative side, uh, one thing that they're often accused of is, is having just a bit more of a mild taste than uh, your normal Shaguan production. So if you are someone that's really looking for strength and stuff to age, um, which is something that I'm definitely um, always looking out for myself, then you want to take that into consideration as well when you're selecting your tea. I I personally, um, I own some Fei Tais, but I also own some Shaguan. So I don't think, uh, I don't think it's a necessarily a 100% filter where you want to totally ignore one and go for the other. Um, so yeah, and there's been some pretty good uh, Feitai 8653 productions throughout the years. They are a little bit different from their just normal uh, Shaguan made counterparts. Uh, so the 2004 one, 2005 one, I both enjoyed those. I don't own them in much quantity, but I, I've had cakes of them and they're pretty good, uh, pretty good just normal uh, drinker teas. Um, okay, so uh, let us get into the tea. All right, so here I have steeps number two of both of these teas. You know, brewing these evenly is always a little bit of a challenge when we are doing um, just iron cakes, uh, just because the compression of them is just inherently pretty different uh, by intention. So let's uh, drink this. One assumption that we might make is that iron cakes would age a little bit more slowly, just because they are compressed. There's some people that disagree with that, but that I would say that's still probably the prevailing conventional wisdom here. Um, so yeah, I'll need a steep number one and doing steep number two right here. Uh, so here is the iron cake. A 
light, uh, pretty palatable. I'm using about four grams per um, 70 milliliters here for both of these teas. Um, just a little bit of smoke in it. Pretty, pretty drinkable overall. Not an overwhelming amount of smoke. I'm someone that tends to prefer my shaguan uh, that lose that smoke taste with age. Uh, so here's the Fei Tai. It looks like it is brewing a little bit darker uh, than the uh, than the iron. Hmm. So definitely more flavor, uh, one hundred percent, and a little bit rougher. Um, definitely brewing out a little bit stronger right now. It has a bit of that um, sort of. Uh, it just has more bite to it, and we have to see if that is. Uh, it comes with also more aftertaste. Definitely a lot more uh, going on in that so far. And that could just, as I said earlier, be a factor of just these teas coming apart. I tried to lean a little bit heavier on the iron cake, uh, but you know, it's hard to do these things perfectly. So, um, sort of a soft, uh, but thick texture to it. Uh, definitely a little bit of a thicker brew uh, on that fave tie initially. Okay, so we are brewing iron. You all saw me just finish up boiling the water right there. So let that hang out for just a little bit. Definitely a tease you want to be using boiling water on. Uh, you know, Shaguan has a, uh, has sort of the, uh, stereotype of having very compressed teas, but their non-iron cake came apart pretty easily. And I don't know if that's just because I was messing with iron cake right before, um, but uh, but yeah, it, it, it definitely uh, came apart quite easily when I was uh, breaking it apart. So the iron leaves definitely coming apart here as well. So this is steep number three and I tried to break up the iron, both cakes really frankly uh, pretty well um, but yeah the inherent compression of the iron is just going to be a little bit more so the colors are definitely a little bit closer than they had been uh, here and I think that's mainly a factor of the iron cake finally coming apart Sort of a sweet, uh, it's not smoky, but sort of like firewood, uh, pine note aroma to that. Hmm, different. It's definitely a richer aroma from this, maybe a little more herbal-y, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, incense. And you know, I'm mainly using these uh, Gong Del Bay's Cha Hai's to cool the tea down uh, a bit and just also to display the different colors so we can see. Definitely not required to do. It's thickened up uh, for sure. Um, overall, uh, simpler, I'd say. It has. Yeah, it, it has a simpler profile, like pine wood, um, more just a straight woody taste coming through that. Um, the bite is finally starting to come through on this too, getting a bit of its stringency. Let's go to this. Um, and again, the aftertastes are going to be a little bit hard to differentiate on this just because we're going back and forth so often. Um, I can feel sweetness starting to come into the mouth here. Uh, as you can tell, I have my workout gear, uh, Shaguan, especially drinking two like this, something you're going to want to work off that uh, uh, caffeine from uh, afterwards. Thicker. Um, and uh, yeah, it, this, this, this uh, non-iron is definitely more consistent, steep in, steep out.
just more flavor coming from it too. Um, it definitely has a little bit more acrid taste to it that I don't necessarily love, but there's a lot more complexity coming from the uh, non-iron version right now, which is not always good, but uh, it's worth noting at least. Let's go back to this. I'd say the, uh, the iron version is catching up to it as far as body um, and just sort of thickness in the mouth. Very interesting. Um, definitely not uh, one tea that like clearly shows itself as having much higher quality leaves. I'm starting to get that aftertaste now. Uh, I'd say this tea definitely has a pretty nice and just play gone uh, for a tea that is very inexpensive. Um, so just a nice sort of back of the mouth sweetness and a little bit of mouth coating going on. Um, are we getting much of that menthol taste? I'm getting a little bit of that lingering in the mouth. I'm not getting too much of that in like the initial taste though. Okay, let's do another one. So I'll probably just do four on camera here. So we could probably even out the steeps here uh, just because uh, the iron cake is now pretty much fully undone. And yet I have featured this iron on a previous episode. Yeah, this is, I'd say, a pretty interesting side-by-side -side so far. They're pretty close, I'd say, in terms of quality. Hmm. Interestingly, iron might be brewing a little bit darker for this steep. Pretty consistent smell on the iron cake. Just sort of a generic woody. Not getting a ton of the shaguan menthol camp for, nor in this. There's like almost something a little like more sticky, sort of like tree syrupy about the uh, Fei Tai version. Uh, for people that like more flavors, I'd say that the Fei Tai is at a nicer place right now to drink. For me personally, I don't know if I care for that profile as much, but uh, definitely if you're someone that like really likes those like front taste flavors and stuff like that, uh, it, it has way more going on. Like it's not, it's not particularly close. I'd say in terms of uh, what I can tell texture, aftertaste, thickness, the teas are really starting to even out and get quite close to each other. Uh, from what I've seen so far of these, I wouldn't be shocked if the, uh, if the non-iron peaks a little bit sooner and falls off a little bit faster. Again, could be just uh, not not because the base material is any worse, just because of the compression a little bit. Cheers. So a nice rounded, really thick uh, taste to this. Uh, getting a little bit of that more shaguan, maybe a little bit more of that menthol uh, pine. Pretty simple, but also pretty nice. I'd say the uh, 2011 iron definitely kind of typifies uh, a lot of what I do like about 8653. Uh, I gave it a 5.8 rating in the past. Probably it seems still pretty reasonable to me. Tea that could definitely use some time. Um, you can sort of hint at uh, sort of past smoke to this tea. I don't know that this was ever the smokiest of shaguans, but um, definitely uh, hints at a little bit of like barbecue, uh, and that, and that sort of like retired smoke taste, as some call it. And back to the non-iron. Yeah, a little more texture going on here. A little more um, sort of syrup uh, things. There's definitely a little more acridness uh, to the 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 fei tai. So you're sacrificing maybe a little more. Um, uh, you get more flavors, but you, and maybe a little more texture right now. But your uh, the the aftertaste is not as obvious to me as being a positive, uh, just in terms of like what seems to really dry out the mouth. You know, really, really close. Uh, so I 
I'm going to give them the same rating. Uh, I will say that right now they are 5.8s. I think I probably a little bit prefer the iron uh, just because the flavors that I'm getting from the Fate Tire are not necessarily to my liking. Um, definitely some brews that I'm going to need to moderate uh, as I go throughout the day and drink these. I'd say they're both, you know, barely drinkable as far as like age goes and definitely projects as far as uh, like do you want to buy these teas. Uh, let's take a quick look at the wet leaves. We haven't really brewed out uh, these, but in terms of consistency, you know, they look pretty similar, uh, all things being considered. Uh, color may be a little bit darker on the uh, Feitai version. Um, I'll get some close-ups here at the end. Um, but yeah, I'd say these teas are both interesting and they're both definitely worth their price tag if you're sort of someone in the market for a shaguan teas uh, around that uh, that price range um if you're getting benchmarks for 8653 i think the the these are okay i i would also recommend going a little bit older and going just also to the main shaguan factory i did a 8653 comparison for 2005 versions um a little while ago a month or, a month or two ago so definitely check that out too and uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for tuning in and I will, uh, I'll, I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.